Hello folks, welcome back to Kernet EXP and welcome back to Tahiti Woods and what we're going to do is we are going to do an experiment now we're here secretly with Ghost Adventures of Cornwall and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop out at him and uh, basically jump scare the audience <laughs> so it should be quite good so I don't know where he is in a minute oh, I've just seen a light, there we go so he's up there, I can see him folks I can see him, there he is Oh, I can see a light. There's Mark up there. Sorry about my breathing, but uh, he's up there, folks. <laughs> I can just make out a little light up there. Because uh, we don't want them to see us just yet. So we got the original oil lamp with us tonight. There it is. How about that, folks? Real paraffin oil lamp. So what we're going to do? Just hide that there a minute. So I can't fucking see where I'm going here. Right. Okay. There he is. He's up there. Can you see him, folks? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> so I've got all the, the get up on, got my new light and uh, the, the new GoPro and all that jazz. Right? lights shining down here now. Mark knows that I'm hiding here folks but Mark's audience doesn't know that I'm with him. <laughs> Funny as fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. There he is. Well, I think we need to turn the lamp down a bit. Bloody forgot how to do it. As you can see him. So he's about 30 meters away from us. Sorry about the breathing folks. Over there, then. 
No. Fucking freezing. Jesus, man. Fucking hell. Hello, who are you? What the fuck? Hello, folks! It's Kerno EXP here! How you doing? Fucking. Oh, God. How's it going? Yes, we've got Colonel with us tonight. <laughs> yeah. Greetings to everybody in chat. Oh, God. Colonel's been hugging the trees again. <laughs> that was funny. I did hear some noises uh, over, over that way. But it was like not not very far, but uh, you could hear like little twigs breaking and that. So yeah, that's why I, heard, so I don't know if it's paranormal, but it could be. Good animals. It could be anything, couldn't it? I mean, there's so much history. Here. There is. There's modern history and there's very old history. I was just reading about the Bassets from the 17th century. Lord Bassett de Dunstanville, yeah. With his missus. In the mansion they had. That's correct, yeah. We're not very far from it and uh So we look over the sea. Oh right. Yeah. Good it's lord. On, it's on the board and then they had it demolished for twenty five pounds. Okay, oh, crikey. Well they created uh, the monument on top of Carn Bray, which is dedicated to Lord Bassett de Dunstanville. Yeah. Apparently the people of Camborne and Redroof paid for it to be erected. I think they had to pay for it. Erected, that's a nice word. It is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he created a hospital in Red Roof for the miners, so he was quite a decent bloke, I think. But, uh, oh, don't know who that was, probably me. Oh, looks like a, some kind of camp. Sounds of a Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm glad we don't get those in this country. Sasquatch. Mm. Did you say that's camping or? Yeah, it looks kind of bushcrafty, doesn't it? Was there many comments when I jumped out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my fingers are gone. Oh, I've got frostbite. I need to put my gloves on. Yeah, it would be a good idea. Where's my gloves? Hold on, guys. Is that cold? I really need my gloves. Oh my good god. Oh. Oh, sorry, a bit late tonight, I got lost with the sat nav. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, get me fingers in there. Oh, Jesus. I didn't realise it was that cold. Yeah, it's pretty chilly. So you've had some good responses here in the past. Yes, we have. Um, I know a little bit about the place, and I know that in recent times, people have lost their lives, whether it's to do with doing it themselves or or whatever. But uh, there's a lot of witchcraft that's been done here as well in this specific area. Yeah, a lot of it. Yeah, got some like really incredible. Um, audio evidence. I don't know if I told you now, but my gran, um, she was a white witch. All right. So we've got um, that in the family, if you know what I mean. Your gran so was a white witch. My gran was a white witch. That's my mum's mum. She's not with us anymore now. She's passed on to the other dimension. But uh, yeah, my mum found uh, lots of things like tarot cards and a widgie board, black candles and. Uh, Black candles. Black candles, yeah, and other things beside that. So did she keep it a secret? She kept it a secret from us all, yeah. Oh Didn't know God. anything about it until the 1990... I think she died in 95, so it's quite a long time ago now. So you could actually be the devil's spawn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope not. Bloody hell. <laughs> Good oh. Lord. I hope not. So do I. Oh, there's an aid, look. Have you noticed that before, look? What, 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 what? Right behind you. Look, look here, look. Oh, there's yeah? an A. A. I don't know if my folks can see it or no, but because we're in night vision, so it's a bit... Oh, you can, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Maybe that's... What was that? That's probably my rucksack. Oh, I've got... I heard a whimpering. Oh, right. Can someone just listen back? Was there a whimpering then? Hello? If you just whimpered, could you just make a noise again, please? Oh, I'm getting a light source just now. I had a light source over there. What's that light? Can you see? Oh yeah, oh, yeah there's a light over there. The yeah, that's there. that's houses. These cameras, they're so deceiving. I couldn't see that with my camera. See in the end. Right, nasty bump. Okay, I'll ask again. Hello? I'm moving around a bit. Let me get my K2. Okay. K2's on. Yeah, there'll be loads of animals around here. Oh, look, look, look. Ooh. Oh, it could be you because you're on, you're streaming, aren't you? Hold on, hold on. Put it down on the floor a minute, mate. That's all right. device your device is setting that off. Well, stay there. <coughs> my, oh, my cam will be setting it off as well. Yeah, yeah. It's just Yeah, there you go. Ah oh, right, okay. That's you. As long as we debunk we've de debunked that, so we can um, step away from it. If there's any spirits here, could you go towards that green light and see if you can oh, put it's going it off, look. Could you, could you make it go into the red, please? Right, we're away. If there's anyone with us, can you light that device up on the floor? Take your energy to it, and it will light up. Is anyone here lost, stuck? We come with the greatest respect. We mean you no harm. I need to take my glasses off. Oh, man, I missed the again. We know that there's presence here, but could you just go to the green light and let us know you are here, please? We've taken the benches away from them. Yeah, there was like wooden seats here, yeah, I do recall that. Yeah. yeah. Just give it a moment. If there's anybody here in spirit who is lost, who took their life, please come forward, don't be afraid of us. There's a device on the floor with a green light on it. If you can touch that and light it up, it will show me that you're here with us. 
and we can interact with you. There's no need to be alone. You feel alone, come forward. There's no way we would be affecting that from this distance. Not, not from this. That's lighting up. Yeah. Like we just said, come and step forward. We mean you no harm. We can help you. If you want some help, just let us know that you're here, please. Well, I'm just hoping that some doggers are going to come through <laughs> and they smoke. All right, yeah. so you can get a roll. I'll happily trade Colonel's ass. <laughs> you what? <laughs> but, yeah. Do what thou wilt with him. <laughs> Just give me a tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Oh, God. You should go on those e-cigarettes, really, you know. Uh, I was rushing around, see? Yeah. I'll do anything for a cigarette, but I won't do that. It's a song, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell. We know that there's spirits here. You've been seen and heard before. Please come forward and come to the green light. Like I said, we mean you no harm. We come with the greatest respect. See if you can put that green light into the red, please. And if you need some help, we can help you. Where does Bird live? Uh, not far from here. Bird, can you go and get me some licorice cigarette papers, please? She lives um, not far from me, actually. And bring them to me. Oh. She knows where we are. <laughs> Hello, Bird, you all right? I've got tobacco and a, and a lighter. I've got a lighter here. <laughs> I if you get that bad, I've got some um, toilet tissue. In it. <laughs> Is it old, like the um, army issue? No, no, it's um, it's little tiny packets. Is it soft? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 Depends how desperate you get, I guess, isn't it? Is it really like? Is it paperish? Yeah, it's it's basically like napkins, you know, but they're in a little sealed packet, so they're all st sterilised and what have you. But I'm not. I'm not saying you you need you should smoke it. But you know, if you're desperate, then you can have it. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. I'll turn it off for now. Well, I smoke cigars, but I haven't got any with me. Oh, you smoke cigars? Yeah. Oh. A bit posh. Oh, it looks like um, stuff they put down for... Can the steam coming off it? Oh god, yeah. Can you see that on this camera, folks? You can't, can you? Not really. Is it in night vision? No. No, it's not coming off. I can now. You can see it with the torchlight. Yeah. Well, Blimey. So if you're cold, just dig, a, dig inside of that. Yeah, but what's in, what's in there? I don't know. Probably a load of... Um, something that we shouldn't mention. So folks, um, if you spot anything on this camera, please could you timestamp it and then we can research it. Thank you. Well, you've got your um, lamp, haven't you? I have, it's here. Colonel's got the old lamp, which they would have. Hold on, let's turn my flash off a minute. This is what they would have had used in those days. Look at that. Yeah, lovely, lovely jubbly. Traditional style. You can smell the paraffin coming off it a bit. Paraffin. I might just turn it down a little fraction. There we go.
Looks like the council have done quite a bit of work in here recently. Pruning and what have you. Yeah. So if we walk down towards where the <coughs> mental hostel used to be. Yeah, we're not far from it. There's a lot of people under their lives as well. Yeah, back in uh, 1984, my own grandfather was at this hospital and he was on the ward, which is near the entrance where the new houses are. And I remember him saying to my gran that he was petrified of the place and he wanted to go home. God. So he must have picked up on the vibe of the, the, the location. Right. Your grandfather was in there. Yep, yep. Because he retired in... Uh, from the, the railway, Great Western Railway, or British Railways, Western Region, uh, 1983. Right. So it was a year after he retired, he, he wasn't very good. So the NHS at the time put him here. I think he was here for two months. Did he say it was haunted? He didn't say that, but he, he said he hated the place and he just wanted to get out of it. Maybe because of all the abuse that was going on. Well, it... it yeah, I, I'm thinking the same. That's why people ended their lives, because of the abuse. Well, there's quite a few stories at this place, from the hospital and from the estate. Like, there's a, something to do with the Headless Horseman. I've heard that story a few times. I don't know if it's true. What's the Headless Horseman story? Well, apparently, um, the stables here, there was a, a group of men that used to maintain the horses and that, and one of them was beheaded. I don't know how it happened, but uh, supposedly he's ha he, he walks around here with no head. He walks around here with no head? Yep. And then there's another story of children running around here. So if we hear a man in the distance... With no head. I'm feeling cold now talking about this. Shouting out, I want some head! <laughs> what do you think we should do? Fucking run. <laughs> <laughs> but, but also there's a... Oh, God. <laughs> there, there, there's also another story about children here. Children. And that they're running around and, and just doing what children do, apparently. That's been reported. I don't know if you've heard that before now. And... Um, I do believe that there's spirits from the patients of the hospital around that basically got out and just wandered around. Well, the patients, some of the patients actually just, is it the, um, the twisted tree is where they hung themselves. Yeah. That was a known spot for just ending their lives. Yeah, yeah. You've been to that tree before, haven't you? We have. Yeah. Yeah, in the past. Yeah, there's bound to be rigid, residual there, isn't there? Times. Yeah, there's bound to be something there because of, of obviously what's happened. But there's lots of myths and legends. Some of them are made up, but some of them are true. Yeah, and that's no matter where you are. So that's the thing, isn't it? Something starts off either a lie or a truth, and by the time it gets around 10 people it's a totally different story yeah that's true yeah <coughs> or it might be a truthful story with loads of stuff added add-ons to, to it yeah yeah but this is definitely got a vibe to it this place 't imagine back in the Victorian times the uh, horse and carriage coming up through here and um, the amount of hunting that would have gone on oh yeah of course here. yeah most definitely gamekeepers would have been doing that all the time and uh, mm -hmm. harvesting the wood for the uh, fires and what have you see we came here one night and we just, I, I we was live in a pre-record and we heard um, gunshots and then loads of dogs oh right yeah and there was no way that was modern. No way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sounds... Not, not in these grounds. Do you think that was a stone tape theory? Yeah. 
Yeah. From the past. Yeah. Intriguing. You're shrinking? Intriguing. Oh, intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the yellow big road, isn't it? The oh, witch. The said he was shrinking then. <laughs> uh. So he must be getting close to that there twisted tree, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think we take a left down here, don't we? <laughs> I'm... I'm... I'm not sure, but that's the way I came up earlier, and there's quite a long way that takes you back to the North Cliffs area of the woods, and then uh, you basically brunch to the left, keep going, and it takes you back to the North Cliffs car park. There's a gate down here. I yeah. think uh, there is a little path that goes on the right, which takes you down to where the big house is. Well, I'm thinking down here there should be like a straight road. Yeah. If I remember right. We turn left down here, don't we? Yeah, and if you carry on, on once you've turned left, it takes you to the East Lodge. It's, where It's so creepy, it's all these ropes. Oh yeah, that is, yeah. Hanging around all over the place. Yeah, that is very... Crazy trees. It's quite an old tree, that one. Yeah. All these trees tell a story. They certainly do, they've seen a lot of uh, time come and go. This makes you realise that you're only here for a fleeting time, isn't it, really? Hello? Yeah, we're all here just passing through. Yep. Ah, I know where we are now. This is the very bottom now. And the the old hospital would be, would have been just over there. The old hospital is further down here. Is it? Yeah, it would have been just off. would have been just over it over that area. Because obviously that's the new bit there now, but that's where the hospital was, where those buildings are. So that's There's a massive like 1930s style that's building the, there. That's the old hospital. Obviously that that those buildings are new, but yeah. uh what was there before is where my granddad was. I remember. It's within living memory. Now, I was speaking to a policeman um, when I got kicked out of this pub I was in while I was live. Ah. And he told me that they buried all the medical stuff in these woods. Yes, I've heard that his, before. His mother knew where the actual spot was, but he couldn't tell me. I've heard that before. You have? From someone else, yeah. I don't know where that is though, of course. It's supposed to have like um, a square cage or something around it. Oh, right. But Good I'm lord. So I'm it. guessing, from what I know, I'm guessing it's it's near the Keeper's Lodge, which is that way. Right. The, the Gamekeeper's Lodge, is, there's a the house up there. That's a, I think it's around that area, but I don't know. But I'm going by what I've been told. Could be talking a load of old cobblers, but... Because we used to go camping here with the scouts back in the 80s. The scouts? Yeah, and that's when the hospital was here. Yeah. So... I remember the hospital. I used to walk from uh, Camborne on the way to Portree. Oh, yeah. I think I'm right, and it would lead me this way. Yeah, it would, yeah. 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 It just vaguely reminds me. Of, um, the sign which was out on the main road down here was out there for years before they took it down. Yeah. 